Dunk here. Today, I wanted to show you how you could earn in DeFi by accepting payments in cryptocurrencies. Now, if you know anything about taking payments in cryptocurrencies, it's never been the most straightforward or easy process, and Helio simplifies this for us. And before we get started, if you wouldn't mind subscribing and smashing that like button, it really does help the algorithms so people could learn more ways that they could earn in Web3 and DeFi. Helio does have a built-in wallet. You can go ahead and use that if you'd like, or you could use any of the external wallets. I've always been a fan of having custody of my own seed phrase, so you could use things like Phantom or MetaMask or any other compatible wallet. For the sake of today's example, I am just going to go ahead and use Phantom. And there are several different blockchains that you could do this on, but I'm going to show you on Solana. It's going to be basically the same thing on the other blockchains. You would just need to make sure that you're using the right kind of wallet. I have my Phantom wallet installed. The Phantom wallet will also do Solana, Ethereum, Polygon, or Bitcoin. So it might be one of your best bets of a wallet to grab just because it supports all of these. Again, you could use MetaMask or whatever you'd like depending on the currency that you're trying to accept. So we've installed the wallet in our browser and we are going to need to connect our wallet to Helio. We go to the Helio website, which is hel.io, and you're gonna hit launch app. There are a couple different ways that you can create an account with Helio. You could just create it with your email address and a Google account, or you could just connect your wallet. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it by just connecting your wallet, but just know that this option is here. So I'm gonna click connect wallet. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of different wallets that you could use. And we have Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So you could pick whichever currency or blockchain you are working on. I am gonna do Solana and it detected Phantom. And I'm going to click right here and it's going to give you a pop-up for your wallet. You always get these pop-ups. Always read who you are signing with. It's going to connect my wallet to Helio. So it says it's going to connect. It shows the website app.heal.io and it says the name of my wallet. Once I am 100% sure that this is all correct, I'm going to hit connect. Just always double check this stuff. I can't stress that enough. I don't give financial advice, but that is one thing that I will say. Always double, triple, quadruple check everything. I'm going to hit connect and you're going to get another pop-up and there's going to be a message that you could also read from Helio. It says signing this message will prove that you have ownership of this selected account, basically proving that you own this wallet. And then there is this message right here. You could read the whole thing. Welcome to Helio. Click to sign in and accept the Helio terms of service. Just make sure that you read all of this. Always double check the websites, the wallet addresses. And when you're happy with that, go ahead and hit confirm. Now you'll want to eventually verify your account, which means that you're just going to prove that you are who you are by just verifying your email address. And you can go to verify account and start filling in all of this stuff, like your name, your email address. You could link a Twitter if you like, you could link your Discord. If you want to add your brand to the page, you could do it here by just uploading the images and writing your company name and your website and your business address and phone number. Then you could add additional wallets external or linked right here. I can just link another wallet if I wanted to. Then you have integrations, things like Discord. That would be for something like if you wanted to use this to unlock something in your Discord, you would need to give it this authentication. But we're not diving into that in this video, but just know that it's there. And there's also an API which allows you to connect Helio Pay to so many different other applications. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and go back to the dashboard. And now we're going to create a payment page. So right here we have payment links. I'm going to click create a payment. Now there's a whole bunch of different options right here on what you could do. We have physical product subscriptions, NFTs, dynamic pricing, events, Discord memberships, raffles, NFT, private listings, videos, which is one that I'm really excited about because I love selling knowledge and video is one of the most powerful ways to do that. And then also commerce. But today we're just going to go ahead and start one from scratch, create your own pay link from scratch click next. And here we are. Now we're just going to fill in everything that we need right here. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name. My first product. There we go. And then we can give it a description. I'm just going to write in temp description. You know that you will need to actually create this yourself. You don't know how to create a description. There's a whole bunch of amazing tools like ChatGPT or any of the other AI writing tools, or maybe you know how to write an amazing description on your own. I don't know. You do you. And now we're going to go down here where it says text slash URL. You could use this in a whole bunch of different ways. Maybe you have a code that's going to unlock something on another platform. And when they buy it, they get the code. 
and you could send them an email and then they just say enter this code in your login and you get access. It would be a really easy way for you to unlock something with Helio without actually doing any of the integrations. And then you could also just punch in a URL. I've used things like Notion are great ways to create a page that you could sell. You don't have to use Notion. I've actually used Google Sheets and just make them private and I've sold those as lists and things and resources. So just use your imagination and whatever you want to sell, there really is a way to sell it here. And then there's also these other two options right here. We can click video and I could just even upload a video. Maybe I have a training that I'm selling and they could buy it with crypto now. Or you could also do something like airdrops and NFTs. You could use NFT delivery as maybe it's a membership pass or maybe it's a ticket to a show or a ticket to an event. It could be your ticketing system is what I'm getting at or whatever you want. Use your imagination. It's definitely going to be a little different for everybody, but these are the three main options. I'm just going to go back over to text where it says I can put a text or a URL. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a URL from YouTube. And if you want this to be a private thing or something that you're actually selling, just make it as an unlisted video. It's an easy way to sell it. And if somebody shares it, I recommend always monetizing your content within the monetization. So you could even make money by monetizing a video that you sell. For this one, I would just paste it right there. We could also just drag an image right here for our product logo. I'm just gonna throw my PFP right there as a placeholder, but you get the idea. We have our placeholder right here, but you'd want this to be your product image or whatever you're selling. You can create these images in tools like Canva or any other free option out there. So now let's click next. And now we have to look at the pricing. There are two different methods that you could have in here. You could have single payments or recurring. Recurring can go by minute, hour, day, week, month, or year. So if you want a recurring payment, say it's a monthly payment, this would be a great way to do that. Or you could just do single, but I'm just gonna show you as single today. I'll make another video showing how to dive deep into recurring payments and some other features, but let's get this set right now. So we have our price. I'm gonna set that in USDC right now. Let's just say we're gonna charge $97 in USDC and that's on Solana. USDC does exist on multiple blockchains. Just keep that in mind. If you wanted to receive it in a different currency, you could easily just pick that currency. I'm going to pick Gary, which is a utility or community token for a community that I'm in that I'm bullish on. I could say that about a thousand Gary would be equivalent to about $97 ish and it would deliver those thousand Gary. And if I wanted, I could even have them pay in USDC and have it automatically convert into that Gary or whatever currency I am trying to acquire or stack. I would use this for coins that I want to have a bull run bag for. You could also just collect it in the coin, USDC or whatever, and then just swap it yourself. Depends on what you want. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as Gary. Again, you could use USDC, you could use whatever currency. We can see a bunch of currencies right here that are on Helio. Again, if it's not the currency that you want, you could always just accept it in another currency and then swap it to the currency that you want after the payment. There's only one other option right here where it's let user define the price. And I look at these as if you want to let somebody pay whatever they want. These work rather well, especially with those Notion ones that I was telling you about. I buy those all the time and it delivers a Notion page. And like it says, it could be for whatever you want. It could be paying for something or it could just be a donation or a tip. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and you want to give them the opportunity to donate whatever amount to you just to support your cause. Just create this page and let them donate whatever amount they want. But I'm going to turn that off for now and I'm going to type in again a thousand and Gary is my example. It's going to deliver a thousand Gary. And now let's go on to the next page. This page is filled with a whole bunch of different options. I'm going to have to do some videos just breaking down all of these, but I'm going to go through them real quick. You have customer information, which that's one that I would turn on because if you're running a business, you want to actually collect a little bit of customer information so you could remarket to them and make more sales. So at least collect their email, if not their phone number and a little bit of this information. Then we have quantity and this one really does excite me, affiliate links, because then you can create a product. And if I wanted to create a page and say, hey, if somebody else wants to go and market my product for me, I'll give them 25% of every single sales. If they sold this thousand Gary product or this hundred dollar USDC product, I would get 250 Gary or I'd get $25 for every time that I did this. And this incentivizes other people to go and promote your products. And then there's discount codes. 
You could do split payments. And what split payments is, it would mean that say I wanted 50% of the payment to go to one wallet and 50% to go to another. Maybe it's a business partner that I have, I don't know. But this is the way that you would split those payments. Then there's also the Discord memberships. We talked about this a little bit earlier. Access some more gating options. I really like this one where there's a countdown. I could say that it's gonna end at a certain time and there'll be a countdown. Let's just turn this one on just so you could see what it looks like. Then they also have trading view integration. And then you could also turn on and off notifications so you receive notifications when there are sales. I'm gonna go ahead and leave on the affiliate marketing one, collecting the email address. Let's grab the phone number two. And then I'm gonna leave on this countdown. I'm in California, so let's just do Los Angeles time. There we go. Now I'm gonna hit create and we're gonna see what this page looks like. There we are, we have our payment link. You could also use this widget right here and integrate it into your site, customize the colors and everything. But we're gonna go back to this payment link. I'm gonna grab this link and let's take a look at what it looks like. So we have our image, which you could use something that makes sense right here, where it says my first product, that was the product name. Then we have the temp description. That's where you could write out your nice thought out description. Then we have the share and earn. Once they've created their own Helio account, they're gonna be able to click right here and grab an affiliate link and start making commissions right away off of promoting your products. And there's even a little share on X right here. So you could have them automatically just promote it for you. Here are the prices. Here's the currency, pay with Gary. I have it a thousand Gary. Remember you could do whatever currency that is compatible. You could have them log in with their Discord. And then here is a countdown. And then you can go down here where it says QR code, click that, and it will give you the QR code. And there's also a pay with card option. It's that easy to create a payment page and you're just gonna need to figure out what you need in order to make this work best for you. So I'm gonna click all done and that's it. You have your payment page that has been created in Helio and you could sell pretty much whatever you want with crypto super easily. The thing that I'm most passionate about is actually earning passive income. And DeFi is one of the best ways, whether you're creating payment pages with Helio or you're providing liquidity in liquidity pools, creating passive income streams in DeFi is possible with tools like Helio. And if you wanna learn more about how I'm making passive income with DeFi, just head over to DeFiEarner.com. It is one of my favorite resources to learn how to make passive income in DeFi. And let me know if you like videos like this, showing you how I'm making these payment pages and other methods on making passive income in DeFi. Let me know in the comments. Also, jump into my Discord at dunkmedia.club. If you wanna get my attention or ask me a question, I'll be perfectly honest, jumping into my Discord is the best way to get my attention. We're just a community of people that want our time back with passive income. So just jump into the Discord at dunkmedia.club. I can't wait to see everybody there. Again, keep creating, keep earning passive income, and I will see you in the next video.